Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Tech Chajendra. In last video, we learned about Docker, Kubernetes, and OpenShift, and we also understand the connection between all these three, the learning path, and the very basic thing about the Docker, the architecture of Kubernetes. Okay, we also run an example. We took the Nginx image from the Docker and run it in our local Docker. In this video, we will deep dive to, into the Docker uh, basics what are the Docker commands and the structure of Docker file, how to create Docker file, the structure, the component of the Docker files, okay? So these basics are very important to understand and learn the Docker Kubernetes and OpenShift, okay? So foundations should be very strong. So let me go ahead. So uh, first, what is the Docker file, okay? And uh, what are the component of Docker? So Docker file is nothing. It's kind of instructions we, we need to write in a simple text format in a file and these instructions are for creating our image okay so we are telling uh, the docker daemon uh, that run these instructions execute these instructions and create my build or create my image okay so it is having two parts. One is the instructions for the Docker server and another part is instructions. Okay, so if I if uh, we go here, uh, uh, it is a very simple Docker file. Okay, and uh, Docker file might be simple or it can be very complex. So let's see this very simple Docker file for an example. So from when we are giving an instructions from, so uh, we are saying to Docker daemon, get load this image, okay? So get this image, image name should be a node and uh, uh, the tag should be 13 alpine and then we are asking uh, it to uh, um, create two environment variable be with these two name and the values okay and then the run means we are asking uh, uh, to execute a local command okay inside the image and what would be the local command create this directory Sorry. create this directory inside the image okay so this is the local command for the docker and then copy command means copying something from your uh, machine from where docker daemon is running and you are building your image copying the file from the local machine into the image okay so this file these is so okay what we are saying in the copy copy this app folder complete app folder from the local machine to the image okay then work directory means uh, we can say uh, all the command uh, um, next okay will uh, execute uh, from this directory okay whatever uh, uh, docker will do uh, okay we are giving them instructions that everything it should be done inside this directory okay that is the meaning of work, work dire okay then we are running some <clears throat> Uh, then we are running uh, uh, and uh, run by our run command. We are installing some NPM uh, packages, okay, node packages inside the image itself. And then this command is a very important, important instructions till uh, from this to this, okay. Uh, uh, these instructions are to create the image, okay. And this is a specific command, okay. This command we will use and we will say uh, this uh, instruction will be used at a time of run of your image inside a container, okay? So these are for the uh, building, okay? From here to here, creating the image and this is for running the image, okay? Let, uh, uh, okay, in our last example, uh, we uh, saw that uh, um, how, how we can get image from the uh, Docker Hub registry. Okay, so let me continue this example, and this time let me create our own web application. And by creating the Docker image, let me run our uh, our application top of that nginx uh, uh, image. Okay, so uh, let me for uh, better understanding. Okay, let me go ahead uh, on that image itself. Okay, this was the nginx image, the official image of the nginx, and um, if I come down. So this is the tag we were using. So let us take, if I click here, okay, let also understand the Docker file uh, given here. Okay, so it will it will give you some more understanding to, uh, to uh, understand the Docker concepts, right? So this is the Docker file is being used by the 
nginx okay so it is also getting the base image from the debian okay so debian would be the base image for this nginx engine then we are giving some label we are setting some environment variable and then running some command okay inside the image okay you can see it is using appcat maybe installing many packages inside it okay inside the machine inside the image okay then executing some copy command entry point is the command same like as uh, cmd okay and then expose this is the very important command expose 80 means once uh, this image is ready and running then it will be listening on the port 80 okay so it is kind of port 80 we are um, opening the port 80 for this image okay and then command as i show you this, this one will do the command uh, once uh, uh, image is ready then once we will provide the docker run then this will be execute okay so this is how this is a very complex docker file okay and uh, likewise we can write our own docker file as well okay so uh, let me start writing this okay and uh, uh, for writing let me let i go into the editor okay any editor you can use okay and uh, uh, inside the, this editor let we uh, start creating our own uh, web applications okay with a simple um, html page okay so let i add uh, index dot html file okay inside my directory and let me create a very simple HTML file. Okay, with uh, just few lines. Okay, let uh, it is my first web app. Let me also include one more line to say. Um, uh, to depict that this uh, files are coming from the docker okay running inside docker okay let me also add nginx nginx running inside docker okay so let's say this is our simple html file uh, and let's say it's our uh, web application okay with a single page and now we want our this application need to be run inside the nginx image okay so for that we uh, need to uh, write a docker file okay so let me first save it and create another file and let's give the file name as okay docker file okay so file name should be the docker file okay no extensions should be there and it should start with the capital d okay so this is the default name of the docker file and if you want to have your own uh, name of the docker file then at the time of building image you have to provide that name with the hyphen f okay otherwise it will not take so this is the default name okay so let me create our docker file <clears throat> It would be a very simple Docker file with uh, uh, two commands only. Okay, first command would be the from, and let we take the image from the uh, nginx, and uh, with the version uh, latest. Okay, and uh, another command will be the copy command. Okay, and uh, uh, here uh, we will uh, we are instructing. Um, docker daemon that uh, get the index dot html file from my machine and copy it into the image okay so it will take the index dot html file from the current directory from where this file is being executed and then it will it will copy it into the image uh ngx image in the default location where it will find our uh, i mean where nginx will search the html file default index.html file okay so the location is like user share nginx html and 
index dot html okay so very simple docker file we are having and now let me save it okay now let me open the terminal okay and uh, let move to the our uh, code directory where our code and docker file is exist okay so we are in the code okay so let first understand few command of the docker okay so let first see how many images we are having in our local docker okay so for it we will execute docker images okay it will show us all the images right so these are all the images in my local machine in the docker demo okay this ngx the last time we have created okay and load into our local now uh, how to prepare how to create our own uh, image okay for it we will provide the command docker build hyphen t and the image name okay let me give the um, image name as my web okay and uh, then uh, colon uh, i am giving uh, the tag also let me give the tag as v1 and then dot okay so dot means the current directory and in current directory it will search the docker file okay and if it will, it will find a default docker file then it will take it and will start execution of the all layers okay so every line here in the docker file these every line uh, is the layer okay and it will run each line as a layer and uh, first layer and the second layer top of it okay and uh, if uh, uh, okay so file name should be the docker file if you are having another file name then you have to give some another parameters like hyphen f to say docker that uh, took this file to execute okay to create the build to, to create the image okay i am executing it now okay as i told you it will take as layer okay so if you can see layer one this is the layer one okay it executed and this is the layer two okay and uh, i think our image has been created by now so let me check whether image is created by the docker images command okay so our uh, image has been created with the v1 tag now next thing how we can run our images okay to run our image we will provide the command docker run and uh, then let me as run this uh, uh, container uh, in the background so hyphen d then hyphen hyphen name let me give uh, 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 our container the name as my container okay and then uh, hyphen p this is the important concept okay the ones uh, uh, we were uh, we were seeing uh, the nginx docker file then i show you the expose okay if i again show you then uh, here uh, in the nginx uh, uh, docker file the expose right so means our nginx engine is running on the port 80 okay so in our local machine let's say on the port 8080 we are mapping it with the container port of 80 okay so this 80 is the container port okay and this is our local machine port okay so whatever request uh, we will get at port 8080 it will pass it to the container port 80 okay that's how it will work that's why it is very important the expose and the uh, port hyphen p okay and uh, after it we need to give the image name and the tag name okay so image name is my web and tag name is v1 okay so now let's execute it if it will run successfully it will return the container id so this is the container id okay now check some other uh, commands to see uh, how the container is running and some container command okay so container commands are docker ps okay it will return us 
how many containers are running here, okay, in running state. So if I execute it, we can say that this container is running 24 seconds ago, and container name is this, and container ID is this, okay. So you can see the few uh, characters of this container ID, you can match it from here, right, till here, right? So it is showing the container ID uh, like that, okay? Once it returned, it returned the whole container ID, but once we see, so this is the main container ID, we can distinguish our container by using this ID itself, okay? Either by this ID or either by the name of the container, okay? So our container is running. Another command is like if we give uh, docker ps min hyphen a, then the all container means some container might be uh, not in running state, might be the exit state. So all type of container it will show, right? So now here you can see it's showing the two container. First container is in the running, the status is up, okay? And for another, the status is exited. So for seeing all the containers available, Okay, you need to provide hyphen A. Okay, so our container, our My Web App container is up and running. And this is the port. Okay, so the 8080, the local 8080 port is going to the image 80 port. Okay, so let me go ahead and check whether our application is running uh, good or not. So we will go to the local host and port 8080 and let's see. Okay, so yes, our application is running good. Our web application, our first page is coming nicely. Okay, so that's how it will work. So let now see some other important command. Okay, how we can stop our, uh, um, our container. Okay, so to stop our container, we will provide docker kill command. We can provide to kill the container, okay? And then uh, we need to provide the container ID. So either we can provide the container ID or either we can provide the container name. Okay, so container name is my container. So let me copy the my container name. And if I give it here, okay, so it has stopped our container, okay. Now, if we check uh, uh, with the, the Docker PS command, our, uh, uh, you can see, our um, uh, container is in exited, uh, exited mode, okay? It's now not running, okay? So if I refresh this page in this case, because container is not running now, it will not return anything, okay? The local host request is going to the 8080 port and from then going to the 80 and showing that page is not, because our container is not running. Okay, so we have see how to kill, how to stop the container, now see how to remove the container from the, Docker, okay. For it, we will give the command rm, remove command, okay. So by providing the rm command, now it will remove the container itself, okay. So if we again check with the docker ps command, we can see our container has been removed, only one container is now there, okay. So this is the com container command. Let's again go back to the images and uh, let's see okay so these are all the images if we want that i want to remove this image okay from uh, my uh, local image repository then i will give command docker rmi rmi means remove image and then we need to give the uh, our uh, uh, image name which is my web and the tag, okay? So in that case, it will remove, okay? So it's saying it has to remove this image, okay? And give, give back the image ID. Again, if we check the images, our images has been removed from here, okay? So uh, this was all uh, for this tutorial, okay? And uh, in the next video, we will create some more complex uh, images, okay, uh, and we will create multi uh, multi container images in which we will learn uh, our applications in multi container mode and how and we'll see how these containers are communicating with each other. Uh, first, we will check in Docker, then we will go uh, in the more complex way uh, in doc uh, sorry in uh, Kubernetes and OpenShift. Hope you understand these basic concepts of Docker and Docker. Thanks for watching.